brothers and sisters of a sim racing community. Welcome to Sim Racing Live. Well, you've got your first Fanatec set up with the quick release wheel rim and everything's just fine and dandy until the day comes when you order your second or third or even more wheel rims. Because if you're like me, my spare wheel rims have spent a considerable amount of their time living on a chair or the sofa next to the sim rig. Now, this really isn't the most ideal place for them, as well, accidents can happen. So what's the solution then? Well, you could put them up on a shelf and stand them up, or you could put a metal cradle on the wall, but both methods have their disadvantages, that the weight of the wheel can cause damage to the alicantera or lever, where it comes into contact with the shelf or the metal hanging fixture. So what's a better solution then? Bring on the quick release wheel rim wall mounts from Neil Bow. Now, as you can see, these are machine sockets that match the wheelbase's quick release system. But I have a friend who 3D prints these from plastic. Surely they're just as good, right? Well, no, not really as I've had it on good authority from someone who does just that. But he also told me that he needs to reprint these around every six months or so, as the weight of the wheel rims takes its toll and bends the plastic over time. Which could also damage the pins that are so fragile on the inside of the wheel rim. Or the wheel could just slip off, fall on the floor and smash into a million pieces. Now, neither one of these could happen to these metal ones. These come in at just £25 each with a small postage charge. But Neil said he'll post up to eight wall mounts for the same price as one. Also, at the time of this review, Neil said he was looking at setting up a website to distribute from. But until then, he can be contacted by email or through Facebook. I'll put that info in the video description below. Now I first discovered Neil advertising on a small sim racing group on Facebook. Neil was really quick to respond and answering my questions and within 30 minutes I'd ordered myself a couple. So a couple of days passed and in the post I received my new wall mounts. Also supplied was two large countersunk screws and accompanying wall plugs. On close inspection of the mounts I could tell these were really well made with pinpoint accuracy and no sharp edges. So, eager to get my wheels up, I marked on my wall where I wanted them, drilled out the hole just long enough for the wall plugs, pushed them into the hole, and then tightened the screws to hold them in place. Once in place, I slipped on my two spare wheel rims, sat back and enjoyed how they looked, but also, I was happy to get my sofa back. So, if you've got some spare Fanatec wheels just sitting around on a chair, or a sofa, get on to Neil, order these. I can't recommend them highly enough. So, that just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and why not consider subscribing to the channel. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate, put them in the box below and I'll do my best to answer them. But until the next time, bye bye.